Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP solutions video and subscribing to our channels. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can use distribution requirement planning, a new feature coming out in Acumatica 2024 R1, use it to automatically create your kit assemblies. So over here, we're looking at an existing kit in the system. Those of you who have seen the sales demo, you've seen this kit before. And what you see in Acumatica now is this planning method. And when you click on it, you can use DRP. That's the new distribution requirements planning. Previously, you'd use inventory replenishment. So if we select inventory replenishment the way it is normally, and we go to inventory planning, you may notice also for those of you using 2023 R1 or R2, you may notice this tab has been changed. The name has been changed. And when we go to inventory planning, you can see the old style replenishment parameters. Your replenishment class, seasonality, source, method, min max, or fixed reorder. All of these preferences are here. And essentially you've seen them before in videos we've covered already. But if we go back and we go to distribution requirements planning, under inventory, you now see that this is a different preference screen. Acumatica has a different engine for handling this. The engine is very similar to the manufacturing requirements planning. But over here, you can see similar things. The source of this will be, for example, kit assembly. And we can set up our safety stock, reorder point, min order, max order quantities. Now, before we move on, it's important to notice the way we set up this kit item. This is a stock kit, which means that when we need to sell these items, we need to build these from a kit assembly. So for example, these items need to be in stock. It's a stock item. So if we take a look at the kit, we take all of these kit components that we need and we deduct them from stock into this final inventory item. This is a stock item kit. This is opposed to creating a non-stock kit. Non-stock kit is created similarly in that we create an inventory ID, but it's a non-stock inventory ID. We check off the is a kit, but the difference is, is that we take the items that are specified in the kit of a non-stock and we deduct them from stock during the picking and packing and shipping process. So for more on a non-stock kit, take a look at our other videos on non-stock kits and also for replenishing non-stock kits. So let's get started by creating a brand new item. We'll call this a floral arrangement. We'll choose an item class, maybe consumer goods. And we'll set our planning method to DRP. We'll check this as a kit. We'll give it a price and we'll save it. Now we'll go over to kit specifications. We'll bring up our new kit, we'll give it a revision and we'll add our items. So we need maybe 12 of these. We need a vase, we'll take one of those. And maybe we need a ribbon. And for the purposes of simplicity, we'll just say that everything's pre-cut. So we need one ribbon that's pre-cut. And we'll save it. Now, if we open up these items, we need to make sure that these items are also set up for DRP, not inventory replenishment. So we'll open up all of them. and make this change. Now we'll create a sales order, knowing that we have none of this in stock. And we'll order 10 of these for our customer. Now there's a new screen. If you search for inventory planning, 
there's a new screen to regenerate inventory planning. This is very similar to regenerate MRP for those of you are familiar with it. So we'll go over there and we'll click process. And if we go to our inventory planning display, you now notice that our kit item is here and all of the items below are set up for purchase. Now there's a challenge with this. You can see the source is set to none. That's a mistake. We'll go back to our item and fix it. So if we go back and we go over to our inventory planning and we'll set it to kit assembly. Again, keep in mind, you can have your reorder points. If you have kit assemblers throughout your warehouse, you can run the inventory planning, regenerate it, and that could queue up all these different kit assemblies for your kit assemblers to work on if you want to set reorder points and stuff. So we'll hit the save button on this. And we'll go back to regenerate inventory planning, click process, and we'll go back to our inventory planning display. And now you can see it properly understands that this is a kit assembly. If you scroll over, you can see that we're asking the system to create 10 of them. As such, we need to get 10 vases. Those are brand new items I don't have in stock and 10 ribbons as well as 120 roses. Now Acumatic also has a side panel here. If we click on it, as we're looking at roses, it gives us a breakdown of what we need. So if we make this bigger, we can see that we require 120. And once we do that, we'll have 120 projected hand quantity. But then once we assemble, we'll have minus 120 and we'll be left with zero. <clears throat> now keep in mind if you have a safety stock set up here let's say it's 50 then the system will automatically continue until you're left with 50 that's the goal if we go over to our simpler item the vase you can see again we're looking for 10 of them that'll get us 10 but once we assemble we'll take out 10 and be left with zero because we're not looking for any safety stock. And lastly, we'll take a look at the kit assembly. And once again, we're looking for 10 of them, but on our second row, minus 10, we'll hit the sales order and that'll be leaving us with nothing. So if we go back and we check off these three items, we click purchase, we'll choose our vendor Click create and we'll go into our purchases. We can see that Acumatica created our purchase order for all these items. We'll remove the hold, approve it. In this case, it needed approval. We'll enter our PO receipt. I won't create a bill at this time and I'm going to release it. Now that we've received these into stock, if we go back to inventory planning display, you can see we're left with the kit. If we check this off and assemble, click create, and we go over to our kit assembly, you can now see that we have our kit that's ready to be created. We open it up, we can see all the different quantities. Same quantities we put in the specifications. If we click remove hold and release, now we've created our 10 floral arrangements. And if we go back to our sales order, while we had zero before, if I refresh, we now have 10 and we can ship it out. So that's distribution planning and the ability to automatically create kits needed for your inventory. So whatever those demands are, you can look at any given item and we'll open up our particular item. And you can always look at inventory allocation details to find out all the details you need. Quantity by plan type will show you all your deductions. If I turn the filter off and look at all records, 
any of these deductions could potentially require your inventory planning to start producing these kits. Now, a couple other things are needed here. If we go to warehouses and we open up one of our warehouses, under inventory planning, you have all the selections you need in order to be able to do forecasts, calculate your inventory on hand, to check out sales orders for deductions. So these are all settings that the system will look at in order to plan the inventory correctly. If we go back to locations, you'll also notice that not all your location IDs have to be included in inventory planning. You can check off the ones that you want to be included. Lastly, if we go to inventory planning settings or preferences, you can see that Acumatica has a number of settings in here. For example, include on hold kit assemblies. Without this checkbox, every time we regenerate our inventory planning, the system will continue to generate more kits for it. So this is a good one to have selected. But notice that the system also keeps track of on hold sales orders or on hold purchase orders if you check these boxes. It can also look at expired blanket sales orders. Normally if your blanket sales order is expired, you may not want to replenish that because your contract's up with your customer. But if you do, you can check this off. So there's a number of settings in here. We'll do a deep dive of inventory planning in another session. But for now, this is automatically generating kit assemblies based on your inventory needs, sales orders or safety stock, reorder points, and even maxes. Thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to our channels. And if you have any questions about this or anything else at Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.